Hi there, my name is Chris Harris and I'm from AlloyTutors.com and welcome to this video on KW Ionic Product of Water. So because we're talking about water, I've got a glass of water here. Um, now you might look at this and think, well, yeah, it's a glass of water. What's actually happening in here though? Um, you may look at it and think, well, nothing's happening. It's just a glass of water. But actually, there's a little bit more happening in here than what you might think. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you uh, actually what is happening uh, in, this, uh, in this glass of water. All right, so... Uh, the KW uh, is the ionic product of water, um, and we're going to show you basically how we derive it. How do we actually get to uh, KW and its expression? Now, water is actually uh, dissociates into a H plus ion and an OH minus ion, as shown on uh, this uh, equation here. Now, effectively, this means that water can uh, have acidic properties and uh, basic properties as well because of this H plus and OH minus. Now, if you're not sure on uh, on about anything to do with acids and bases, um, in particular to do with um, A-level chemistry or A2 chemistry, then uh, I've done a video on the introduction to acids and bases. So just click on the link below and you can have a look at that video there. Um, but actually water doesn't just exist as H2O, like I say, uh, it goes from H plus to OH minus and it exists in equilibrium with that. So actually in this glass of water that I showed you before, uh, there is some H plus and OH minus ions in there. Now, because we're talking about equilibria, uh, we have to bring in our um, KC expression as well, which is the uh, expression to do with equilibria, or reactions at equilibria. Now, if you're not sure on, uh, or you'd like to know more about the KC expression or um, anything like that, then I've done a video on that as well. So you just click on the link below and you can have a look at that video. So the KC expression is the concentration of products divided by the concentration of reactants. So therefore, if we take this equation and shove it into our KC expression, uh, we can then uh, work out the um, the expression for the ionic product of water. So let's let's start and do that. So we take Kc. So Kc, uh, and this is the products, which is concentration of H plus multiplied by the concentration of OH minus divided by the concentration of H two O. Okay. So you look at this expression, and um, the thing, the this equation is actually in equilibria. But the equilibria lies well to the left. Uh, water is very weak at dissociating. And so therefore we have a mammoth amount of H2O and a very small amount of H plus ions and OH minus ions. So this has a massive effect obviously on our KC value. Having a massive number down here and tiny numbers for these ones here is going to render your KC to be incredibly small. And if we change H plus and OH minus ions uh, very slightly, then it's not really going to show much of a difference here with KC. So one of the assumptions that we make uh, when we're trying to derive the KW expression is actually the concentration of water will remain constant. And that's an assumption we're going to make. So we'll put that there. Uh, assumption is that the uh, concentration of H2O remains constant. And so what that allows us to do is now we can effectively try and get rid of it from the expression so we can just focus on the bits that matter, which is the H plus and the OH minus. Now, one of the ways in which we can do that in general mathematical uh, algebraic form uh, is to multiply the right hand side by H2O. And so we've got to multiply the left hand side by H2O as well. And so what that leaves us with is effectively we have Kc multiplied by the concentration of H2O. Uh, and chemists have come up with a new, uh, a new effectively constant, uh, and they call this Kw. And this is taking into account this assumption here as well. So now we've got Kw, we can now rewrite our expression. And so hence we've come up with our Kw expression. So Kw and is whatever's left on the top. H plus uh, times by OH minus. And so that is where we get our ionic product of water. Here's our ions and their product of a water molecule. So that's where it comes from. So we use the word KW, W standing for water, uh, and here's our expression here. Now, um, this is actually quite useful because we can use this to work out, um, for example, pHs of solutions. Um, and we can do that because if we know the value of KW, which I'll tell you in a minute, uh, and we know the value of OH minus, we can then rearrange this to work out the concentration of H plus, and then we can put that into a, a pH expression, a pH equation, uh, and we can then um, show the pH of a substance. So this equation is incredibly useful for that reason. And also if you've got H plus, you can work out the amount of OH minus ions, 
uh, and then work out the concentrations of things um, such as bases. Um, so this is very, very useful. That's where you'll see it used quite a lot, integrated within acid-base calculations. Um, so looking at this value of Kw, like I say, um, the value is actually constant at um, general standard conditions. So the value here is um, 1 times by 10 to the minus 14. Um, now, this is, again, assuming that we have standard conditions. So I'll put that on there. Okay, so those standard conditions are 298 Kelvin and 100 kilopascals of pressure. So these are just standard conditions. Now, this value here is um, might seem quite significant because you'll see this 14 here, uh, and you'll notice that the pH scale actually goes from 0 to 14. So this actually plays a big role into the reason why the pH scale um, for most chemicals at these conditions ends at 14 but you do get some extremes where you can go beyond 14 and less than zero um so that is that is the, that could happen and um, but that's if the conditions obviously are not at these conditions um the units for this here kw um can be worked out by using this expression here as normal so you can see the units for concentration is just moles per decimeters cubed for h plus uh, and it's also moles per decimeters cubed for OH minus as well. And all we have to do is just combine these two together to work out our units for this. So the units for this is going to be mole squared dm to the minus six. Uh, and so that's the units for our KW expression. But you can see this is how we work it out. Um, uh, the, you can see this is the ionic product of water because uh, we've got the water molecule that's dissociating into its ions. But um, there you go, just a very quick introduction into the KW expression. That's it. Bye-bye.